the Romantic Age, 1775 to 1850. Values of Romanticism. Romantics rejected simplicity, proportion, and restraint. Romantics valued feeling, intuition, passion, imagination, spontaneity, nature, folklore, individualism, nationalism, social protest, demonic, grotesque, the romantic hero, the evil, and the exotic. The romantic hero. Romantics preferred feeling and imagination to intellect and reason. They were attracted to the picturesque in nature and in the past. They prized creativity and cast off neoclassical restraint and laws. The romantic hero reflected these qualities, rejecting established norms and conventions. Examples are Captain Ahab in Moby Dick and Victor Frankenstein. The Romantic period was also influenced by the revolutions and fight for rights, such as the 1776 American Revolution and the 1789 French Revolution, which valued democracy, republicanism, and equality before the law. The results of those conflicts were congresses, presidencies, and constitutions. American colonists' resentment of British control spurred the revolution and the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Colonists were inspired by the principles of enlightenment, including John Locke's treatise on civil government, the ideas of Thomas Jefferson about equality, civil rights, and pop popular sovereignty from the philosophes, and the writings of Hamilton, Jay, and Madison in the Federalist Papers. In France, rebellion against King Louis XVI led to the storming of the Bastille prison on July 14th and the drafting of the Declaration of the Rights of Man and the Citizen based on the ideas of Rousseau. The revolution propo proposed the, the values of liberty, equality, and fraternity. The monarchy was banished in 1792 and in 1793, King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette were beheaded, a period known as the Reign of Terror Revolutions were happening in the colonies as well. In 1793, Toussaint L'Ouverture led Haiti's revolt against the French. Napoleon imprisoned him. Simon Bolivar wanted to create a United States of South America. He obtained freedom for Venezuela, Colombia, and Peru. The Napoleonic Era. In 1799, a new hero, Napoleon Bonaparte, led a coup and by 1804 crowned himself emperor of France. He had dreams of imperial glory, imagining himself as a new Roman emperor and staged a campaign to conquer Europe. He was defeated in 1814 at Waterloo and imprisoned for the rest of his life in St. Helena. Napoleon was a lover of the arts. He imitated Roman emperors and wanted Paris to be an imperial capital like Rome. He advertised his power with arts and buildings such as the Louvre, a museum with pieces stolen from conquered countries. He built triumphal arches and columns on buildings such as La Madeleine, which was styled like a Greek temple, and the Arc de Triomphe. Jacques-Louis David's Napoleon Crossing the Alps shows Napoleon as a romantic hero. What aspects of romanticism are evident in this painting? You should notice the passion, the nationalism, the colors of France, red, white, and blue are featured, nature, and individualism. As you view the examples of romantic art, notice the elements of romanticism in each. The interior of Tintern Abbey by J.M.W. Turner shows the power of nature as it infringes on the old structure. A Negro hung alive by the ribs to a gallows, 1792 by William Blake, graphically calls attention to the horrors of slavery and the social protest of the abolitionists. Goya's 1814 painting, Executions of the 3rd of May, tells the story of Napoleon's invasion of Spain and the execution of a Spanish soldier depicted here in white in a Christ-like pose. His paintings depict the senseless brutality of war. Caspar David Friedrich's The Wanderer showcases both nature and the individual. Delacroix's 
Liberty leading the people dramatizes the French Revolution. The concept of liberty is symbolized by the Greek-like female figure who forms the top of a pyramid topped with a triumphant French flag. The Great Red Dragon and the Beast from the Sea by William Blake is an example of the Romantic's fixation with evil and the demonic. The Sleep of Reason Brings Forth Monsters, Goya's 1799 etching, also shows the Romantic fascination with evil. Delacroix's Death of Sardanapalus depicts an orgy of egoism, violence, and sexuality. When Assyrian King Sardanapalus was threatened by rebellion, he destroys his possessions and himself in this chaotic scene of destruction. Romantics were interested in nature, so painters created beautiful landscapes. John Constable's The Haywain is a rustic landscape with the elements of nature, the sky, the trees, and the pond dominating the man-made parts of the scene. J.M.W. Turner's The Slave Ship, slavers throwing overboard the dead and dying typhoon coming on, is a dramatic and passionate interpretation of people being thrown overboard as a storm looms. Albert Bierstadt's Among the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California was drawn from sketches he made in 1861 on his visit to California. Before travel was widespread and before the camera was readily available, paintings like these would be the only way many people would experience scenes from distant places. J.A.D. Angres, The Turkish Bath, shows the romantic fascination with the exotic and Arabic customs and dress. The American painter George Catlin traveled the American West and painted images of Native Americans. Hallmarks of Romantic architecture include the House of Parliament, rebuilt in the late 19th century, and the Royal Palace. Although this building looks like it could be located in the Arab world, it's located in Brighton, England, demonstrating once again the Romantic obsession with the exotic. Music of the Romantic period rejected the order and simplicity of the classical period. Beethoven is considered a suffering romantic genius. He became deaf at age 25. A pianist in Vienna, he developed the Scherzo, a light, playful composition, and composed nine symphonies. His symphony number no. three, Eroica, was the bridge between the classical style and the romantic style. He mo his most well-known is probably the symphony number no. five in C minor. Notable romantic composers of opera were Wagner, Verdi, and Rossini. Giuseppe Verdi was the national hero of Italian opera. He composed Rigoletto, Il Travitore, La Traviata, and Aida. He used Shakespearean characters, intense emotions, and comic genius in Otello and Falstaff. His operas emphasized action. Wagner's musical revolution. Richard Wagner was a flamboyant, arrogant musical genius whose extravagant ideas include the opera as the synthesis of myth, music, poetry, drama, and painting. He used Germanic myths and legends as sources for his operas. His innovations include immense choral pieces, leitmotif, distinct melody associated with a character or object, as unifying element, chromatic harmonies, used all 12 of the tones in a scale, dissolved traditional tonality, and made his music emotional. The Ring of the Nibelung is four operas, 16 hours in length total, that tell the tales of the Nordic gods. On your own, listen to Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. The Romantic period showed a rise in, mur in musical virtuosos, one extremely talented performer, such as Paganini on violin and Chopin on piano. Clara Schumann performed leader songs. Hector Berlioz's Symphony Fantastique is innovative program music, a composition that tells a story or describes a place. It's the story of the Irish actress who rejected him. In the fifth movement, the musician is dead and his beloved joins the celebration in a witch's dance. 
This illustrates the romantic fascination with the macabre. Romantic feminism. Mary Wollstonecraft's A Vindication of the Rights of Women compared women to soldiers. The worldwide revolutions did not liberate women. Napoleon's le legal code denied women the right to hold property and Western nations did not allow women to vote. Wollstonecraft's daughter, Mary Shelley, would write Frankenstein. She was married to the poet, Percy Shelley. The story of the Faust legend, where he sells his soul to the devil, was a popular romantic theme. Goethe's 1829 play, Faust, was a romantic masterpiece drama in two parts. Delacroix illustrated a French translation, Schubert compared, composed songs, and Gounod composed an opera about the Faustian legend. The Romantic Novel. This fascination with evil and the demonic led to the goth Gothic novel and Gothic tales by Edgar Allan Poe, Charlotte and Emily Bronte, and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, a hero who suffers a conflict between his godlike ambitions and moral blindness. In contrast, novelist Jane Austen wrote more realistic novels. German philosopher George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel developed dialectics a term used to describe a method of philosophical argument that involves some sort of contradictory process between opposing sides. He was largely influential on the German philosopher and economist Karl Marx, who wrote the Communist Manifesto in 1848. His work initiated a revolution of the workers, the proletariat, against the bourgeoisie factory owners and the communist revolutions in Russia, China, Cuba, Korea, Laos, and Vietnam in the 20th century. The poet Walt Whitman, in addition to his books of poetry, including Leaves of Grass, was part of a group of American philosophers in the mid 1800s called Transcendentalists. Transcendentalists Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau developed a philosophy that people have knowledge about themselves and the world that transcends the senses. This knowledge comes through intuition and imagination. People can trust in themselves. The voice of God is within us, so there's no need for a church. Transcendentalists valued individualism and self-reliance, women's rights, abolition, reform, and education. They were critical of government, organized religion, laws, social institutions, and industrialization. <laughs> 